Now to the driverless cars that some San Francisco residents say are making them lose sleep with honking horns all night long as they try to park themselves. Larry, you're back with the story. I'm glad none of us live there. We uh, have yeah. a problem. <laughs> it's not music to your ears. So relaxing, right? <laughs> Technology, it's supposed to make life easier, right? Well, tell that to the people who live next door to the parking lot where the driverless taxis park at night. This morning, San Francisco residents are fed up after being kept up at night by driverless Waymo cars honking at each other through the night as they park. I could not be more cranky today. Over the past two weeks, I've been woken up more times overnight than I have combined over 20 years. Waymo says the vehicles automatically honk their horns when other cars get too close to them while reversing. It'll be honk, 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 honk. It doesn't last very long. It only lasts like maybe 10, 15 seconds. But imagine if your alarm clock is going off for 10 or 15 seconds. Sophia Tong has been running a 24 hour live stream, <laughs> capturing the chaos. When they all come back at once, they get into a traffic jam and they start honking at each other. <laughs> it's so silly to like think about, you know, like robots getting into traffic jams, but like here we are. Waymo says that while the feature has been working great in the city, they didn't anticipate it would happen so often in their own parking lots. Adding, we've updated the software so our electric vehicles should keep the noise down for our neighbors moving forward. And experts say, don't hesitate to voice your concerns when new tech impacts your community. It can feel powerless at times, but you do have an ability to sort of take charge of, of the way that technology is developed. Well, residents say that after Waymo updated their software, they have had less symphonies of horns blaring in the middle of the night, so we are moving in the right direction. It must be frustrating hearing the horns and having no one to yell at. I know. <laughs> <laughs> have, have any of you been in a driverless car? No way. No, 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 not yet. I've been in a car with some drivers I wish I wasn't in. <laughs> never never a driverless car. <laughs>